right, so here's another uh, very cool feature. Um, let's assume you do a product launch. And uh, there's going to be, a, you know, let's say 100,000 people coming to your site um, because, you know, 50 top internet marketers sent an email to their list. So you have, let's say, 100,000 unique IP addresses coming to your site in just a matter of a couple of days. So what you can do, um, let's assume all these um, all these visitors will be coming through a Google uh, ClickBank affiliate link. So all you would do is just copy or type in whatever URL they are coming from. Let's say they're coming from ClickBank affiliate ID. I'm not exactly sure what the domain for that would be, but let's assume it's ClickBank.com. Um, simply just copy or, or write that um, domain name in here and then any traffic that's coming through that domain name um, in any shape or form will be ignored they will not call this script into action um, so kinda like the IP uh, address thing here earlier where it completely ignores visitors that come from that IP address kind of the similar thing except here you just type in the domain name it really is that's simple that's straightforward it also works great if you use a lot of redirects um, to drive a lot of traffic to your site let's say just for example sake here let's use let's say you use a lot of uh, bitly redirects to get a lot of traffic to your site um, and let's say you don't want that traffic to activate this pinger um, all you would do is just type in the uh, the bitly domain name in there. It's as simple as that. Very straightforward. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it here. Um, I think we set up a complete campaign. So what we'll do now is just create this campaign. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, actually, I should maybe just quickly mention um, with this code here you can paste it anywhere on your site uh, as long as it's before the body tag as you can see right here uh, if it's in a WordPress blog I would highly recommend that you put it in the footer just before the body tag closes um, so again just you would log into your admin panel uh, I should maybe just show you a quick demonstration here. So what I did, I just quickly logged into my WordPress blog here. And what I will do here, I'll just go under Appearance, click on Editor, and now let's scroll down here. Let's find the footer page. Where is the footer? Right here. We'll click on the footer, and then all we would do, scroll all the way down, Let's see here, there's the end of the body tag. And then what we would do, we would just copy our code from right here, select it all, we'll copy it, and we'll paste it in here. And we hit update. And look at that, it was successful. It was successfully installed. It's really that simple. Um, and again, it, it works for any pages, um, whether it's a blog or not. Um, just yeah, again, just put it in front of the the body tag, and uh, yeah, as long as it's a PHP page uh, or any more advanced pay, uh, scripting uh, language, you should have no problem uh, installing the script on your on your site. Okay, and if you do have any questions. Um, just refer back to the guide or uh, watch this video again and uh, yeah I wish you best of luck with that if you do have any serious problems so you just can't get it to work um, contact either either myself or my staff and uh, we'll look it look into the matter for you okay